assalamu alaikum friends welcome to my channel and in this tutorial we are going to see that how can we create a hill shade map aspect map curvature map and slope map and a quick elevation map with the help of dem data so here i have a region of interest of dem data and i have downloaded this dem data from usgs earth explorer of srtm mission and if you want to know that how can you download uh, the SRTM DEM data from USGS Earth Explorer? You can simply click over here on top right corner. So let's start and see that how can we create a slope map with the help of DEM data. Okay, let's start with the slope analysis and we are going to create slope from this DEM data. Just simply go to our toolbox and spatial analysis and then surface and then slope over here you can see that input will be your raster data and output you can assign the output and uh, here the measurement of slope if you want to measure your slope values in degree then you can select degree and if you want to calculate them in percent rides then you can select it i will go with the degree and it will tell us the slope and inclination values in degree so plan method will be planner and here what is z factor you can read over here but in simple words i tell you that what is z factor so now we are on the website of esri.com and here we have a blog and you can see that when we download digital elevation model in raster format its coordinate system are usually in geographic coordinate system so if we are using the 3d analysis tool like uh, hill shade tool or slope tool or other tools that have z factor so if we use the wrong z factor in that tool we will face this issue and with the correct z factor we will get the accurate results so over here there are two ways to avoid this problem so the first and simple way to avoid this problem just simply change the coordinate system of your dem data into projected coordinate system then you will overcome this issue so now we are going to change the coordinate system into projected coordinate system and if we go to properties and source the coordinate system will be in gcs 1984 and now we are going to convert this coordinate system into projected coordinate system just simply go and write project raster and choose this tool input will be your raster data and you can select your output projected term dot extension will be your tiff I'm going to use UTM projected coordinate system and my zone is in 43 and you can see your uh, UTM zone with the help of Google map or Google Earth Pro so simply okay and okay okay here we have a projected raster data and if we are we will see its coordinate system they will be in UTM zone 43 north okay now we will perform all our analysis on this projected dem so now let's again go to slope tool input will be your project dem and if assign the destination z factor will remain one because we have changed the project projection from geography coordinate system to projected coordinate system and okay okay now you can see over here that the areas that are in reddish color having the slope angle in between 31 to 51 degrees and the greenish areas are actually the plane surfaces 
ओके ओन दी अदर हैंड इफ यू डोंट वॉन्ट टू प्रोजेक्ट योर कोआर्डिनेट सिस्टम इन टू प्रोजेक्टेड कोआर्डिनेट सिस्टम एंड यू वॉन्ट टू स्टे विद योर जियोग्राफिक कोआर्डिनेट सिस्टम दैन यू हैव टू फॉलो दिस टेबल ओ है एंड बिकॉज द लेटीट्यूड वैल्यू द जी फैक्टर वैल्यूज विल चेंज आफ्टर एवरी टेन डिग्री लेटीट्यूड एंड यू कैन सिंपली कॉपी द वैल्यूज ऑफ जी फैक्टर एंड पेस दैम ऑन इन द टूल इट विल बी गुड डेट यू will read all this blog this will be very helpful for you okay i have placed the link of this website in description box you can take it from here and now we will create aspect map with the help of dam data and uh, let's see that what is aspect map aspect map actually will tell us the orientation and the direction of the slopes to viewers just simply select aspect map and uh, input will be your raster projected dam assign your destination dot if <coughs> and method will be planner just okay okay here you can see that the colors that having gray color are actually the flat areas and the color that are representing with the red color are facing toward the north and the colors that have the values in between 22 to 67 degrees and have orange colors are actually their orientations and uh, their direction of slopes toward northeast so with the help of aspect tool we can see the topography we can see the uh, orientation of topography and the direction of the slopes okay now if you want to create a map of this aspect analysis you can create it from over here and in the last of this video we will create a elevation map with the help of dem data and now we are going to make another analysis and that will be hill shade analysis so input will be your projected dam and select your output hill shade dot if z factor will remain one because we have uh, resolved all these problems by projecting uh, by changing the coordinate system of this them into projected coordinate system and just run this tool okay oh hey we create or <clears throat> made a hill shade map with the help of dem data and the question is this that why we create a hill shade analysis from dem data why we need this so here the answer that uh, a hill shade map simulate the effect of terrains sunlight creating shadows and highlight the terrain surface to en to enhance the visualization of any landscape in three dimensional characteristics okay here we we can see the 3d view of this topographic area and this tool help us to visualize the shades of features and uh, 3d views of any landscape okay friends now we are going to make an other analysis on this dem data and we will create a curvature map with the help of dem data so we are going to use a tool that is known as curvature tool simply write over here curvature and you can use the 3d analysis tool and you can also use the spatial analysis tool so just click over here and input will be your projected dem and you can assign your destination and the z factor will remain one and we will make this okay here there is a question that why we are going to create a curvature analysis we are going to make a curvature analysis on them data this analysis actually will tell us about Uh, the orientation of slopes either it is in convex or either the slope 
is in concave or either it is steep or flat surface so this tool will uh, okay so this tool will help us uh, to find out the orientation of the slope so z factor will remain one and uh, just run this tool okay now here you can see the values are in between minus 11 and plus 11 so what is the difference between minus 11 and plus 11 so the lowest values are representing with the darkish color and similarly the uh, highest values are with the whitish color so here positive value is actually indicating the convex creature which typically represent the ridges elevated features on the train these areas are often associated with the hill having a convex shaped landform orientation and uh, the similarly the uh, negative values are actually indicating the concave curvature which usually represent the depression or valley in the train uh, these areas are often associated with the valley uh, or concave shaped landform so the values that have uh, in between or uh, nearly close to zero are uh, actually the flat surfaces here we created a curvature analysis hill shade analysis aspect analysis and slope analysis with the help of dem data now we are going to create a elevation map with the help of dem data okay now we are going to create a elevation map with the help of dem data so we will simply go over here on properties and let's go to symbology and classified its classes into five assign them the color flip the color and okay okay let's increase the classes to seven just like this okay now it's good okay now we are going to uh, use a tool that is known as reclassify tool this tool will actually uh, combine all the cell values uh, actually actually the bluish area is representing the elevation values that are in between 402 to 499 if we click over here then you can see the elevation value is 456 meter above sea level and if we click on reddish area then it will tell us that the elevation value over here is 905 that is in between 859 meter to uh, 979 meters so now we are going to use a tool that is known as reclassify tool reclassify spatial analysis tool input will be your projected dam what is the purpose of this tool actually this tool with will help us to combine all the pixel values that are in between 402 to 484 meters in only one class you can assign the destination to your file and just run this tool okay now you can see over here that uh, the elevation values that are uh, in between uh, 402 and 499 meters are representing with only one class uh, that is first class and if i select if you i click <clears throat> on seventh class then you can see that the elevation values that are in between 859 to 979 meters are now merge into seventh class okay now we are going to convert this raster into a uh, vector data so we will use a tool that is known as uh, raster to polygon input will be your raster data that is reclassificative and uh, you can assign your destination Okay, now the sh uh, okay now the extension will in shp because after the running of this tool we will get our vector data and the uh, and the extension for vector data is shp that is actually shape file so save it and run this tool 
okay now you can see that uh, we have just converted all this uh, raster data into vector data and that is actually polygons if i select this polygon that is representing over here polygons that having the grid code one are actually representing the declassify value uh, that was equal to one and similarly the grid code that have uh, two values are actually representing the second class over here so we will dissolve all these polygons uh, that are related that are that have similar grid codes so we will use a tool that is known as dissolve tool input will be your elevation dem and we will dissolve the grid codes you can select the destination extension will be shp okay now if we will uh, see the attribute table then i am going to click the polygon number one then you can see that now this polygon is representing the whole first class and the sixth polygon is showing the whole seventh class and so on so now we are going to add this data in this attribute table so just simply add a field we will known as elevation type will be text because we will write in this make sure to start this editor tool because if you want to edit uh, the attribute table then you have to activate your editor tool just double click over here your first class is actually representing the elevation values from 402 to 499 meters and your second class is actually representing the elevation values that are in between 499 to 555 meters nine meters so save your editings and stop your tool we want okay now we'll again go to symbology and characterize this into elevations add values and you can change the color from here and make it okay just like this now you can see that uh, the elevation values that are in between 402 and 499 are actually representing with the uh, bluish color and this is uh, the a polygon a vector data okay now we are going to calculate uh, uh, the areas uh, of this elevation uh, ranges uh, actually uh, this areas that is representing the elevation values between 859 to 979 meters uh, have covered how much uh, square kilometer area so we will just simply go to attribute table and we'll add a new field that is known as square kilometer type will be double just go to here calculate geometry area and we will want if you want to calculate the area in square meter then you can select with square meter i will go with the square kilometer and okay and this over here you can see that uh, the elevation values that are in between 402 to 499 are actually in the areas of three 
the uh, 33 square kilometer and similarly the elevation ranges that are in between 859 to 979 meters are actually occupy the area of 16 square kilometers so now we will create a layout of this map you can just simply go over here and okay with the help of this tool you can enlarge your map and with the help of this tool you can adjust your layout in this tutorial it is for practice purpose so i am uh, making the map of this elevation ranges so you can make it more zoom okay just like this so now we will give a title to our map that is elevation ranges of region of interest this is for practice purpose so i have chose this name you can make your own name if you will click over here double click over here then you can customize your title i will and just simply go to change symbol and over here you can see here are the varieties of uh, font style so i will go with the arial and uh, make it bold and increase the size of your text okay and okay so now we will add a northing arrow over here Okay, you can see that uh, RJS uh, have provided many type of northing arrows. So you can also customize this arrow by making double click on this. I will go with this one. And now we will add a scale bar in our map. you can enlarge the size i will go with this and you can customize your scale ball by doing double click on it i want km instead of kilometer and you can customize this label too just make it bold make it large and okay and you can also format these numbers over here make it bold and make him that's just like this you can also set the subdivision numbers of the scale from here okay now we are going to add legends in our map just simply go to insert and legends we want dissolves legends so next next if you want borders around your legend then you can select a variety of border styles over here and i don't want borders around my legends just next next finish it okay now you can see that we have loaded our uh, legends over here and uh, i don't want this the dissolve name and this class in my legend so i will just remove this go to properties to get rid of from this this way uncheck it and okay now i don't want this elevation just remove it you can make double click on your legends and you can customize your legends too just like tall make them bold and you can 
select the style of your legends and increase their font size just like this okay now you can add uh, the coordinates in your map in your layout just go to properties of this layout and go to grids new now here next 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 finish and okay now you can see that the grid codes are actually in our map layouts and i don't want these grids inside my map so again left click over here right click on this layout and go to properties of this grid and go to lines and don't show lines and ticks and okay now if you want to enlarge these phone these these longitude and latitude so you can go again go to properties labels increase the size make them bold okay now it's quite good so okay now in addition you can add a base map from here in your beside your this map and you can also label the features uh, by going to properties and uh, go to label check your label and you want to label your elevations make them bold make them size large and then okay and just like this it's up to you that how can you visualize your map perfectly so you can add a base map to so if you want to remove these borders of this reddish area then you can double click over here and no color now now it's clear so if you want to export this map just go to file and export map hill shared map elevation map of ROI region of interest okay here you can see the layout of our map so okay friends uh, in this video uh, we have seen this how to create a slope map and you can also make the layout of your slope map aspect and hill analysis so we have seen that how uh, to create slope from them map aspect and hill shade and curvature and how to create an elevation map like this from the dem data so hope this video will be very helpful and interesting for you and we'll see you in next video uh, with new tool and new analysis and new task we will see you again in the next tutorial make sure to hit the like and subscribe button so you will remain tuned and connected with me many thanks allah hafiz